One of our amazing community members faced some problems with fillets while working on an amazing helmet surface modeling design and in this tutorial I just want to share how you can create perfect fillets in almost every situation and if you also want to learn how to create this kind of outstanding designs then check out the first link in the description I have the best surface modeling course you will learn how to create this amazing helmet from scratch with 100% surface modeling techniques but for now let's jump right into our tutorial. Hey Matthew, so yeah I thought I record the video because yeah it's some very interesting issues that you have here but yeah those are normals and let me show you some cool ways how we can solve that. So the issues that we have here is that the first problem that you wrote is that you can't fill it this edge here so it doesn't matter chamfer or fill it you can't do that. So first thing that we will try is we will just select with alt click this whole edge because sometimes that will work out but we see this is still not working out and then you also have a second issue which was you want to give a nice beautiful sharp fillet to the second edge but if you do that that you get here some holes and yeah here you get the hole some issues so both pretty simple to uh, solve. So the first one, uh, that's why I like to use yeah, manual filleting. It's a little bit more, it takes a little bit more effort, but you will see we will literally make the impossible possible and we will have so much more control and it will look even better. So in my new industrial product design course, I will go much deeper into that, but yeah, I will show you already here how to do that. So first of all, you have to select this whole edge here with alt click and shift. And once everything is selected, is you we duplicate that because we just need this curve right now and we will rebuild it um, because we want to create in a second a pipe. So let me paint it. We want here a pipe along this edge and then we will subtract the pipe from that surface. So what we will create is we will get a hole here. And this is perfect because then we have those edge freely around. Um, we can use those edges freely. What we will do then, we will just create some lofts and a manual fillet. So yeah, I don't know. It's, it's the most fun, the most amazing technique. I literally don't fill it at all anymore just with this uh, slider here. I'm just doing this manual thing. So once this curve is uh, created, go to rebuild, go to points and rebuild it with a lot of points. So um, when you have here some sharp there are edges, so that's not sharp here, but if you would just have, I don't know, like 22, you see it just looks messy. So let's create something, I don't know, like 200, press OK. And now we will create this curve, press P for pipe and here section size, make it as large as you want. So let's go for the tutorial something, I don't know, like 2.2, press OK. We still have that curve in the middle. We don't need it, delete it. And now we have to a little bit make this pipe longer just at the end. So it's intersecting completely to this edge. So let's do it here at the top at here at the bottom because it will just um, make um, less problems. And also be sure because I think it was before, um, so when you uploaded the file, this was close. So make sure you have no surfaces here. Uh, I mean, no solid objects. It needs to be here a sheet. So now select this whole sheet, shift click this pipe, press Q to Boolean difference and you see we create a nice hole and press OK and perfect. So that was the tutorial. I hope you liked it. See you in the next one. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So now we will close it, as I said, with lofts. So first of all, um, so if you see, we can't loft those edges because they are too far apart. So what we need is always when we have here an edge breaking this edge where the hole is, we need to create the same amount on the other side. So select the surface and press Control R or search for isoparam is the command. So Control R and press tab 
and just make it approximately here at the same position. So here it's fine, but here again, we need to break this surface up. So select this face, control R, and just create some edges. Like, Don't worry about the messy topology. We will delete everything automatically at the end, but we need this extra edges here. So you see it's always almost the si uh, same distance. So here it's perfect. Here it's also fine. And yeah, if we go around, so yeah, here again, we have to break it up. And here the same control R and tap. And now it's everywhere the same. And now very simple. We will just go here to the beginning and just start to loft. You can go one by one or sometimes you can also select two. So it's approximately the same distance. But here we see this one is a little bit too crazy. You see it's going a little bit sharp. It's because here the distance is too long. So just go to this face, control R, press tap and make it here a little bit sharper. So something like that. So now here we have an extra edge. So select this fillet here and control R as well and create the same edge. So sometimes you have to create a lot of lines, sometimes less, but you will see it's really worth it. And the more you will do it. So now it's just taking so long because I'm explaining every step, but it's like super fast when you know how to do that. So let's loft everything one by one and just go around. Very simple process here. Okay. Maybe this one will work out. Yeah. And loft here as well. And if I hide edges, you see, it looks absolutely beautiful and clean and much better than any automatic fillet would do. And yeah, we will combine everything in a second, but let's first of all close everything. So just select everything one by one and loft with G G1 continuity. So yeah, I will just fast forward a little bit. So all lofts are created where we have fillets. I've, um, didn't loft it that because I want to show you one additional thing, but right now press four, select all of those sheets, press J and bam, we have just one sheet. And now to close this holds even easier, press two, alt click, patch it, press tab. So everything is G1 and you see it just absolutely works beautiful. Press tab and yeah, let's just close those holds here. Here, I just noticed if we want to patch that, you see we get some really weird extra edge here. So exactly at the point where you have this problem, if you want to fill it that, that you see this shape just breaks up. So we have somewhere here some issue. So what I will just do is I will select face mode and shift X, just delete this whole surface and see what we get here in this connection. And if we zoom very, very in, you see something is off here. So yeah, I don't know what happened in your modeling process, but to fix that, um, yeah, there are like 1 million ways, but let's just select this face control R, create this extra edge and just rebuild here everything a little bit. So let's delete this surface and take this edge and this edge and bridge them with F and search for bridge edge, but I have it on shift B. Best shortcut, <laughs> I, I think, in my opinion, I use it like all the time. So shift B and you see we can connect this thing here and connect it with G1 or G2. So everything has still continuity. So now let's do the same for those edges again, shift B, but this time just G1. And once we have that, we can try to close this hole with some lofts. So if we select those edges, loft them and shift at this edge and this edge, it works right click. So delete those curves. And you see now everything, if we zoom in is everything connected. So let's press four again, select all surfaces, join them and try again. So first of all, let's close this hole, our fillet that we were, have been working on. Press tab. Now you see it closes. Everything is fine. 
And now the same, we can close this hole again. So alt click, select, patch it, give it here G1 and yeah, here G1 and right click and you see everything works. So let's see now if we can give it here a fillet. And you see now if we give, give here a fillet, everything works perfectly fine and goes into this corner here. So let's check out in a second how it looks on the top. So first of all, let's see our fillet here and see if we have any issues. But you see, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. So I really love that. And yeah, maybe it's a bit too big here. Maybe you could make it a little bit smaller. But let's check out this second edge. So here you had the same problem. If you wanted to fillet that, you see now if I press shift to make very small increments. But now I want to show you something even more crazy. How we can use almost the same technique that we just used for that fillet, but use it on such surface transitions that yeah, I've showed you here in the course and that you did absolutely beautiful. So let's just assume you can't give it here fillet and basically yeah, I don't know. You see, sometimes it works, sometimes not. So again, sometimes maybe you can't solve this issue here, how to fill it dead and you try to rebuild, but it's not working. Then let me show you like a really advanced technique, which I'm also showing like very in depth in my new industrial product design course. So what we will do is we need a pipe which will stop somewhere around here. So this will be here the pipe. So we will cut everything here away. And here, so once we have here the last edge of the pipe when we've booleaned that out, we will bridge those edges. So we will get the perfect smooth transition here into this corner. And then we will love this little piece and we will get a perfect surface transition. So yeah, really incredible technique here. And first of all, we have to break down, yeah, let's say this surface here and here. So this pipe is just going to here because at this point where the transition starts, as we have here, we want a little bit of free room. Uh, you will see in a second why. So let's go here at the bottom and do the same here. So here we have the edge, right? So you see it's like very smoothly transitioning into our surface here. And before it comes to this endpoint, we want to break this face here and this face with tap here at this point. So we can create here our pipe. So again, select all of those edges here, except the last one and shift D for duplicate the edge, we need the curve. Again, we build with like 200 points or something. So it needs to be a lot. And again, we will create a pipe, press P, but this time just a very small run, right? So we want to go like crazy, press OK, delete the curve, we don't need it. And now what we can do is just select both of those edges and delete them because we just needed that to, to, to make the pipe a little bit shorter. So let's go here to the bottom and delete those curves. You definitely have to delete them. So now if we select with tap this whole main surface and the uh, cylinder or the pipe, press Q again. And you see again, we got a, um, a hole, but now you see that looks super weird. We still have this edge here from that surface transition. So we have to make this smooth and really amazing. What we can do is we will just take this edge here and create a curve, which will, will end at this point here and the same for this edge at the bottom and it will go to this point. How we can do that? Very simple. We will just select this, this edge here. And this edge, so let's start with the top one. So let's basically start with this top edge and it should end at this point. So we can just take this edge, right? Because we need this end point. And again, search for F and bridge edge, or I highly recommend you right click 
uh, chain shortcut and make shift B because shift B, B bridge, you would you constantly use it for surface modeling techniques in all my uh, tutorials. So shift B and you see it's going crazy. We have to change the side of the second one. So change the side and also we need on the second one a G0. So that was the second curve that we used. So make here G0, but here you can leave it as is G2. And look, it looks beautiful. So let's create, take, make the same for the second one. First select this one, second select this one, Shift B, Bridge Edge. And again, change the side, make the end curvature G0 and that G2. And that looks beautiful. And now comes the magic. We can use this curve and imprint that on this surface here because we, we want to delete now those little pieces here. We don't want them, right? So we can then loft that here. So very simple, select this curve, press F and search for imprint or I have it on shift one. So for imprint, I one is like a, a one uh, I right, but you can reach it with your left hand. So shift I, so select the curve, shift I, select the surface and just press OK and do the same for the second one. S shift I, select the surface, right click. And now you can delete those curves and go into face mode and delete those two little surfaces. You will see it's, we do so much work, and, but you will see it's, so if you really want the highest, best, incredible quality, you have to do it and it's worth it. So both of those are selected, shift X and look, we have a perfect whole triangle and we will love that in a second. So um, yeah, let me just show it to you before we do it at the top. Again, we need here the same amount of edges. So selected edge, control R and create here an edge. And now we can loft those two edges, press L for loft. And now press four, select everything, join. And again, edge mode, select everything and patch it, press tap and G1, you see it works perfectly. And look, if we go into this shading mode here, do you see what I'm talking about? Like, look, we have this fillet here, which I did a little bit too big, but, but look this surface transition. And look at this fillet. This fillet is, is perfectly ending here. And yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's a very small detail, but what works in small works also in big. So that's why it's so important. So look here, what we have otherwise, we have something like that. And that doesn't look good, right? So just, uh, so we will do again the same process. Go to the front view, select this edge and this edge shift beam and we have to change here the side and here G zero. So it's going from this point to tangent this curve or edge and do the same here and here shift B change again here the side make it G zero beautiful. Select those curves shift one or imprint on the surface right click do the same on the bottom delete those curves and face mode delete those uh, faces. And again, let's create here an edge. And if we loft that G1, it works perfect. Now press four, select everything, join, alt click. And here again, we have, so now if we alt click this here, because we want to patch, patch this hole, we want only those three edges, right? Because here is the hole if you see it. But if we alt click, you see that it's again going around. So this was the problem that you had before. So let's, oh, you see it's not connected those surfaces. So you have a hole here. So what we can do is, let's just, mm, okay, it's a little bit, okay, this whole tutorial is getting, a little bit more complex than I thought already, but yeah, so I hope you, so I hope you just follow along because yeah, you will learn a ton. So let's go to the front view and just create here yeah, an edge like that. Let's just cut this whole piece away and rebuild it. 
So select this curve and shift I imprint that onto the surface. Right click, delete the curve. And you see we have something like that. So now basically let's just delete those two surfaces. So we have now this whole huge hole. And let's here again bridge those edges with shift B, right click. So now again, we can just loft that and add those edges with G1, press OK. So now you see we have a perfect fillet. And let's now also close this hole. So first of all, let's join everything. So press 4, select everything, press J, and now shift click only those edges where we have the hole and patch it, press tab, everything is G1. So now you see everything is absolutely perfect. And now we can go back to our hole here, alt click, and uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's not 100% perfect here, but just wait a second. So let's close it, press tab, G1. And if we check here our shading mode, you see, oh, you see how sharp this everything is. I don't know, it's just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's a very small detail here, but yeah, what works small works also in big. Um, so what we have to do now, just very, quickly is to close this whole hole <laughs> and let's I will just fast forward just select all of those surfaces and again create some lines where we have the line on the other side so yeah very simple perfect so now again we can just select those two, those two edges and loft everything you see sometimes it looks weird press 4 select everything, press J and then everything combines smoothly in a beautiful way. So I will just fast forward and again press 4, select all of those extra surfaces, press J. Now we have some holes, press 2, alt click to patch it, press tab for G1, the same here. G1 and again we have here a lot of detail but when you have such a beautiful model which looks so perfect with this smooth transitions you really want to practice and understand this technique here but again the 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 more you will practice that the faster you will get and you could do this everything and okay it takes already 30 minutes like in 10 minutes or or less but yeah you will stand out okay so that's fine we have closed all the holes everywhere we have filled. So now just last step, select object mode, this whole thing here and search for F and delete redundant topology. I have it on control D. So delete redundant topology and voila. If we check it out, absolutely beautiful. No problems at all. I hope you learned a ton. Check out my new industrial product design course. We will go much more in depth and I will show you even more incredible and fun techniques. So thanks again, Matthew, for posting that issue here on the community. So we both helped hopefully a lot of people.